Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Today I'm going to do the review, or the reveal, of my new car. Now, it's nothing massive. It's not going to be a Nissan GTR or anything like that. But it is my daily runabout now. And going forward, maybe do some modifications to it. It was... It wasn't expensive, or cheap, whatever you want to say. But, here is the massive reveal of the new vehicle. Now, it is a Fiat Punto Grand, or Grand Punto, and oh my god, it's just been washed, so it's very clean. But as I tell you guys, nothing major has been done, I've got a key cover, yep, isn't that cool? And um, in the future though, I want to get some big alloys on it more bigger alloys, they're only 15 inch and also going forward some nice racing stripes be quite cool the only problem is just now there's a bit of a mark on the bonnet Ugh. but yeah stripes going across it nicer alloys I do want to get a wheel cover for it because just now it's a bit meh there's the thing it's dash look oh Yes, and you're reading that right, that is 171,000 miles. Oh my god, yes. But, the engine is literally like it's brand new. It's crazy, it's still so quiet. It still runs really good. It's using a bit more oil, but going forward, can expect that from such a high miler. Um, fuel does about 400 miles on the tank. Which is quite decent, I think. And also, one of the things the wife got me is, look at this. Fiat, hub Fiat wheel valve caps. But, got a new tyre. And, they've only taken it off. Oh my God. And it is hub caps. Now guys, we're going to go for a drive in it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Engine wise, performance. So I will see you in a minute. As I said in the introduction, only a 1.2, 8 valve, it produces about 85 brake horsepower, 0 to 60, I've, I'd say 12 seconds, but it feels like an eternity in all fairness. Um, top speed, 140 it says on the dash, more like 100 unless you want your teeth to come out because of the, like, like that. Um, yeah. Um, it's quite chirpy for a little runabout. As I say, good on fuel. Um, handles really well around roundabouts because from Milton Keynes, all we have is roundabouts. Um, yeah, and as I say, it's nice in here. Got a heater, heated windscreen, heated back window. Uh, it's the first car with you don't have a boot lock it's really weird you've got to press a button on the dash or there's a button on the key which I think is pretty epic I'm not going to lie I use it all the time um, the horn doesn't work <laughs> yeah it's great oh, the amount of times I've had people cut me up is funny um, it's got 4k light bulbs in it um, yeah it's a nice car to be in it's comfy, two kids usually in the back. Um, as you saw in the thing, there's a cushion thing on the passenger seat. Just for long journeys to support the wife. But yes, yeah, nice little car. Radio works, CD player works, everything works, which is always a bonus for such a high mileage car. Um, yeah, and 170,000 miles, as I say, still goes really well. Um, Going forward, what can we expect on the channel, guys? Well, we want more car reviews, obviously. Um, there'll probably be more of this, maybe a bit more in-depth, be quite good. Uh, and then, going forward as well, there's going to be more cars on the channel. I've already got a couple lined up. Possibly my brother-in-law's car, Mercedes A-Class. be quite nice, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've been in it quite fast, quite quick. be really good to get like a little review for someone. Um, yeah, but what do you guys want on the channel? Do you want more family cars? 
Um, there's not going to be no supercars, unfortunately, because I don't know anyone that owns one, and I'm not going to go and buy one, unfortunately, because I don't have enough money. This is why I bought this. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up, smash the like button, give me the questions in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you on the next one.